Live, the news on NBC6 at 5.30. Today, the manufacturer of Lysol issuing a warning after President Trump's statement about disinfectants during Thursday's coronavirus press briefing. NBC6 reporter Kim Wynn is live in Miramar. And Kim, what are doctors saying about this? Well, some doctors say they were speechless after hearing President Trump's comments yesterday. They say that inhaling or injecting any type of cleaning product can cause serious harm or death. Basically, nothing good can come of ingesting these products. Putting it's them a on stark your warning doctors are sending the public about household cleaning products like bleach and other disinfectants. You can burn your airway, uh, so your windpipe, your trachea, the back of your throat. Uh, some of these products can end up in your lungs. The warning comes one day after President Trump said this during his daily coronavirus press briefing. Right, and then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of the lungs, so it would be interesting to check that. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Chad Sanborn says he was shocked. This is a very uh, scary uh, bit of information to get passed around, and certainly uh, certain people will take it literally, and I think that's a potential disaster. Sanborn says bleach and other disinfectants can cause permanent damage if ingested and can even be deadly. Things like Lysol, Clorox, even uh, rubbing alcohol, designed to work on surfaces but not designed to work inside the body, could potentially do a lot of harm. The president's comments causing Lysol to put out this statement saying, under no circumstances should our disinfectant products be administered into the human body through injection, ingestion, or any other route. Sanborn says until there's a vaccine, people should only take medical advice from their doctor. I would recommend staying in contact with your health care provider, uh, whether a telemedicine, a phone call. And thankfully, people didn't seem to take the president's remarks seriously. Florida Poison Control says they have not seen an uptick in calls since those comments were made yesterday. In Miramar, Kim Wynn, NBC6 News.